I was at a rugby tournament this morning with my boy. They did quite well, they came second. But in between games, I was looking at some news headlines, and this one really, really annoyed me. David Cameron tells Eurosceptics, trust me, I get it. Although I can't speak for anyone other than myself, I am guessing millions of people feel the same as I do when it comes to David Cameron. We simply do not trust a single word this silver spoon wanker says. All he has done since he got into power is pander to big business and the rich. Whether he means to or not, he comes across as not giving a shit about the less off, the needy, the less fortunate in society. And I know he's doing this on purpose. Whether he means to or not, he comes across as a silver spooned, privileged prick who only cares about the rich and big business. No amount of him spewing, oh, trust me, trust me, will change that ever. The only reason he's still in power is because the mainstream media pretty much have got a monopoly on news in the UK. If the alternative media was bigger in this country, Cameron would have been kicked out of office by now. But just look at his actions. He moved 800,000 people out of fuel poverty overnight. Fantastic. I bet that's an amazing policy. Well, how did he do it? Did he invest in these people? Did he give them a reduction in their bills? No. He changed the way the figures are reported, then simply moved 800 people off the fuel poverty list. That's called fraud in my book. And as for the crime statistics, Cameron chose not to report hundreds of thousands of crimes and make everybody think that crime is reducing. That's also called fraud, isn't it? But with the food banks, he went one stage further. Instead of not reporting them correctly, he just decided not to monitor the figures at all. Instead of having to look at the figures to see if the government could do anything about it, he just decided he doesn't care how many families are having to use food banks, simply doesn't want to know. Cameron just stopped collecting the figures altogether. And I'll tell you why this was. Because the thought that more and more people are using food banks doesn't fit in with Cameron's blinkered view of the world. These are only a few reasons why people do not trust David Cameron. We have not trusted him, we do not trust him, and we will not trust him in the future. He told us he would give us a cast iron guarantee on an EU referendum. He lied. He's a lying piece of scum who couldn't care less about the people who put him in power. He is working solely for his paymasters and nobody else. I cannot wait for the day that he is removed from office.